This week, we are lab testing the 2019 Mazda CX-5 Signature Model. Now, our first ever lab tested vehicle was a Mazda, the CX-9. So we are thrilled to be back in another one. Whether you're packing this thing out with people or pups, there are a ton of perks about this CX-5. So let's check it out. brown leather. They almost look a little bit like burgundy. It's a beautiful brown. Heated, ventilated, eight-way power with lumbar support. Powered passenger so you don't have to use your muscle to move that thing around. They move fast, although a tad bit noisy. Second row, a bit more compact. You could definitely fit two adults back here. And the leather, it's so soft. The middle, there is a hump, so definitely less leg room. But here's what the leg room looks like with that front seat pushed back and kind of in the mid position. And if you use this armrest, check it out, heated seats back here. And the trim, it's layered wood. There's real wood in here. Clean, very sharp lines, and it continues to that back. Very nice. Plus, you find some leather features along with this leather-wrapped steering wheel, which happens to be heated too. Boop, but not gonna use that today. It is way too hot out. Infotainment, seven inch display with a scroll wheel. It's not huge, but it does fit nice in the space. And check out this color. Plus, it's a touch screen. And as you can see, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. Now when you pop open maps, you can't actually use the touch screen to move it around, but you just have to use the little tabs here, or of course, the scroll knob. And you wanna see what this looks like at night? LED headlights. You have illuminated door sills. And honestly, overall, the front, pretty straightforward, clutter-free, easy to learn buttons, which makes me feel safer and more comfortable when driving around. Mazda, you did a great job. You don't need a PhD to drive this and learn this tech. Driving, this has a quick response. I am very surprised in a positive way. 2.5 liter dynamic pressure turbo four cylinder engine. 250 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque. This thing basically has no lag. Yeah, Mazda. And did you notice the badge on the back, Sky Active Tech? That basically describes how this was engineered to maximize driving dynamics and efficiency. To better fuel economy to a more responsive transmission, this thing has a six-speed automatic tranny. And when you want to go to sport mode, you can feel a difference. Now, in all honesty, I've been driving in comfort mode. Andy's been good. I feel like it's got enough response for me. But by all means, pop it in sport for a more dynamic feel. And I read that the steel base of this car was designed to be stronger and stiff, yet lighter. So at low speeds, it helps you be more agile and have increased stability at higher speeds. And this signature model is all wheel drive, so it should give you the confidence to drive in all weather conditions. And I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda hot outside. I wouldn't mind it snowing so we could test this baby out. Andy would sure love it. Sound dampening tech, it is in place to help reduce some of that road noise. It's not super quiet like a luxury vehicle, but it's not too bad either. And even though there's not a pano moonroof that extends all the way to that rear, pop it open, windows down, and he can still enjoy that breeze. why the 
the CX-5 is so fur kid friendly. Rear lever alert, check this out. One, two, three. If you just wanna push down that middle section, you can pull on that baby lever. You don't have to run around, yank on a tab to get it down. Easy to plop down for our furry friends. Seats up, Andy's large bed still fits back here with plenty of space. Under floor storage, now the spare tire does take up most of the space, but you still have some extra spots to put your dog's toys. Plus, you have those seat backs, doors, and consoles. Seats go down almost fully flat, not totally flat, but there's a nice amount of space back here. And because the seats are so soft and squishy when you actually apply pressure, you can get them to go a little bit flatter. Flat, 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 flat. Woo! Low to the ground, easier to get your fur kid in and out. And one quick thing to mention, this trim, although it's beautiful and shiny, it definitely gets a little hot in the sun. So if your dog's jumping in, quickly push them up so they don't burn their paws. Cubby here on the side makes for a great water bowl holder. Rear privacy glass on those back windows helps block out some additional sunlight. Now it also comes with this cargo cover. And it attaches to this rear door so when you close it, it will automatically open. That is fantastic, but I removed it so Andy would have some extra headroom in the back. Doesn't she look so cute back there? 40-20-40 split, great sight lines to the front, especially if your fur kid gets car sick. Plus, you still maintain two full-size seats back here. But one thing that I notice when this centerpiece is down, it actually kind of blocks the vents. In the winter months, not a big deal. But on a hot day like today, I've just turned the car on a little bit earlier to kind of cool it down as a whole before getting on the road. Now this also has cruise control with a stop and go function so you can set the speed and the minimum distance to the traffic in front of you. Red light coming up. All right, slow down, slow down. Oh, I guess I gotta get my ca camera on here a little bit tighter. Oops. As you can see, those brakes are pretty powerful. As it slows down, it doesn't like bleh, halt you. It's a nice slow progression and it's not last minute either where you feel like you're gonna hit the car in front of you. I'm impressed. Use it on the highway, because if you use it on roads with red lights and there's not a car in front of you, you're gonna go right through the red light. Ho! Oh. And regarding safety, it uses eye active sense. It has a series of radars and cameras that provide auditory and visual alerts to keep you in tune with your surroundings. Lane keep assist with steering intervention. It will push you more towards the center if you start there to you sway. Go. Definitely works better at low speeds. Plus, it has a 360 backup camera and it gives you alerts not just in the rear, but the front too. I love how you can see two views when you back up. You have your 360 view and then your rear view as you go. And there's even a designated camera button which makes it so easy to see things real quick, even when you're driving. And these alerts are actually pretty sensitive, so if you're in traffic and sometimes it's like beep, 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 there's a button right here to disable it. Don't forget, turn it back on when you go to park. I also love smart key entry. You just push the button right here. You don't have to massage under, try to find the right spot. Boom, you're gonna love it. And when you're traveling, especially in the summer, and you wanna leave the AC on as you run in for a quick rest stop, you can't push lock and leave the car on but you can take the key apart and manually lock it. Now Andy and I have been dog scussing and our top five favorite features are, one, the fact that this is so easy to just jump in and drive. Two, the almost flat floor space. Andy's bed fits back here so comfortably. Three, the quick response when you push on the gas and this thing is smooth. Four, it's priced very well. Great bang for your buck. And five, the leather seats, beautiful quality and they're really soft. 
Big thanks to Mazda for letting us lab test this beautiful 2019 CX-5. Andy, is it lab approved? This thing is totally lab approved. We'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel and if you follow Andy on Instagram, you'll get to see more photos of this Mazda. And next week, we're coming back with another dog-friendly ride. We'll see you next time. Bye.